Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! We have a new version out. It actually came out the first day that I left for the NASA Social, so I missed it. I missed the new update, but I'm back, and I'm going to play around with it. There's a lot of cool new stuff in Kerbal Space Program. We're up to 0 0.15. Uh, there is... well, let me just show you what there is. Let's, let's start the game, and already you can see things are a-changing at the Kerbal Space Center. Uh, we have our VAB, of course, the tracking facility from the previous update because there's spacecraft persistence. But now this little guy on the left, space plane hangar. Oh, oh indeed. We can make space planes now. Um, yes, we have, in addition to your standard capsule for your vertical launch rockets, we have alternate cockpits for space planes. So that is what I'm going to be messing around with today. Uh, a few other things, a lot of bug fixes in this update. Um, obviously, if I accept this, uh, you can... I, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm assuming if I were to go into the VAB, uh, the Vertical Assembly Building, uh, I could assemble a space plane, but have it like a space shuttle, you know, go up vertically. But I think I'd like to mess around with just horizontal takeoff and landing before I start to get too crazy with space planes. Uh, but as you can see on the left here, we have a lot lot of new uh, engines and, and parts to accommodate these space planes. Uh, wings and engines and jet engines with uh, air intakes and tail fins and a whole bunch of new McGubbins. Uh, so that's really excellent to look forward to. Landing gear. Landing gear, everybody. I hope they're not as explosive as the landing struts as we discovered they were on the moon. Uh, but another thing uh, that we've got is... Uh, let's go back. Let's go to the tracking station. Uh, obviously, we know we have Kerbin. Oh, I was messing around. Uh, we have Kerbin and we have uh, the moon. But now, we have another target that we could travel to. A little, little tiny moon called, what was it called? Minmus. So that is way out there. Uh, I haven't even taken a look at it yet. I can't even select it. All right, well, I guess we'll have to set that as a new goal to go investigate what this little, little, uh, little moon is. Perhaps it's like a little captured asteroid. Oh, here we go. Okay, I guess let's let's find out what she looks like. Ooh, a weird oblong little ice ice moon. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So that's neat. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's exit out of here and head back to the space plane building facility. And I'm going to cut away here, and I'm going to see about building a space plane, and then we will see if we can actually take off and fly this thing. So I will be back with you in a momento. Or a memento. Or just a moment. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I'm back, and look what we have here. We've got a jet. Um, it, uh, it's kind of a little bit unnerving to be building a jet. I wasn't quite sure how all these pieces went together. Uh, in the middle here, I just have empty fuselage. There's different... there's structural fuselage that carries no fuel, really has no purpose other than as a, a fuselage. And then there's the f jet fuel fuselage. I chose... there's two different types of jet engines. This one doesn't need an air intake, uh, but this one does. So I, of course, went with the more complicated one, so I'm assuming you just put the jet intake at the front, and that makes, makes it all right. Um, also, looking at the forums, it looks like the wings don't actually come with control surfaces, so you have to make sure to put the ailerons and the flaps on, on your wings. Uh, I went with a little bit of a V design here, because I was kind of afraid if I had these wings horizontally, like you normally see on a plane, that the jet exhaust would make them explode, because as we know, things in Kerbal Space Program are, are very, very flammable. So. Here we have the very creatively named Jet Test A. I'm going to head to the launch pad, runway. Uh, I'm still playing with a keyboard. I haven't tested this game with a joystick yet or anything. Uh, so, oh, 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 a little bit of lag there, but uh, I may have had a few tests that you guys didn't see. Uh, so that's what that debris out there is. 
Uh, so yeah, let's uh, put our throttle up. We still have to hit space to turn on the engine, so here we go. Check out that awesome sound effect. Easy, easy. Nice engine glow there. You can do it. We have Huldorf, Camry, and Calfrey Kerman. Oh, should start taking off now. Ah, ah, take off. Oh God, oh Jesus. Not taking off, there we go, okay. We're flying, we're flying. Uh, G for gear up, G for gear up. How about it? Whoa, this thing's gonna, okay, there we go. Let's stabilize. Overheat, that ain't good. Okay, um, I think there's trim. Oh god, oh see, yeah, flying these things with a keyboard is a little bit wonky. Uh, let's, uh, as you can see, when I'm not pushing anything, I'm going down. So I need to pull up, pull up, oh god. Pull up, pull up, throttle up, oh lord. Oh my gosh. Five meters. Oh. <laughs> that was a little close for comfort. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, trim, as I was getting to before I almost killed myself. You hold down Alt, and then watch the pitch here. The pitch is going up slowly, and then it's staying there. So that... Oh god, I'm gonna crash. Yeah, this plane does not have enough lift. Oh god, see ya! Oh! Okay. Well, that was a poor demonstration right there. Um, yeah. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let's head back to the hangar and kind of make some modifications to this plane. Alright, I'm back and I've done... I found this part. It's kind of like a wing attachment extender. Uh, so what I've done, remember before I kind of mentioned how I thought the engines would blow away the, uh, these, uh, what are these things called? Elevators? Uh, so I moved them to the outside, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem, and I don't know if this is going to give me any additional lift, but we are going to try this configuration out. Um, I'm a little bit worried that it's not powerful enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it's powerful enough, so let's... Let's head out to the launch, or to the runway once again. I gotta see if I can just pilot this thing with a keyboard. I might have to see if my joystick or my, uh, my, uh, what's that thing called? Gamepad can control. Alright, start of the engines. 100% throttle. Danbin, Tomfrey, and Tomwin Kerman are now on board. Easy, we're kind of going to the... Okay, okay. Let's try to take off. Watch the tail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gear up. Whoa! Yeah, see, this is this is kind of janky, having to just tap the W key to... or the S key to keep going up. Okay. I can only try the... pitch. Okay. Need more pitch up. See, as I hold Alt and then S, the pitch sticks where you want it to be. So now I'm pretty much staying level. So I don't have to keep tapping S, 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 S to keep up and down, up and down, up and down. So that's that's helpful. Um, engine overheat. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Let's see how this bad boy maneuvers. Okay, that might be too much pitch. Let me... That. It's very nice. Everybody's freaking out. You guys are not Jebediah Kerman, that's for sure. Okay, let's try... Okay, that's... That's your rudder. A and D. So, roll must be like on the spacecraft. Whoa, hello! Yep, certainly is. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, we're flying, guys. Let me, uh... Ooh, I want to stall. Let me see if I can actually get back to and land on the runway. Because that's going to be an essential part of having a space shuttle. <laughs> God, I don't know how the... I have such a hard problem. A hard problem and a hard time making 
pinpoint splashdowns, how am I going to make a pinpoint landing on this one runway on the entire globe of Kerbal, Kerbin? All right, kind of doing a little U-turn here. Let's a little bit straighten out. Woo, Nelly! Very cool, very cool. Straighten out. Now make the opposite angle. Very nice. Let's pull up a little bit. Throttle down, maybe. I might be going too fast. Alright, this is looking good. Seem to be pretty square on that landing. Trim up a little bit. Whoa, Christmas! All right. Oh, now I've, I've overshot where right, the runway is. Holy crap! Holy crap, guys! Oh, throttle up, throttle up. Okay, very nice. Let's put the gear down just in case. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Cool, cool. Alright, very nice. Come on. Kerman people. Oh crap. Throttle up. Throttle up. Throttle up. Oh god. I lost my engines. But I landed. I landed. <laughs> okay. Uh brakes? Do I have brakes? Yes, B is brake. We landed! <laughs> we lost our engines in the process, but we landed, and, and we kind of missed the runway. Oh, we're going backwards. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, B is brake. That, that's a good guess. How about it? How about it? A successful space plane mission. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> well, it wasn't really a space plane. I didn't go into space, but an aircraft. So now... Kerbal Space Program has officially also become a flight simulator. Take that, Microsoft Flight. Uh, let us end this mission. Yes, I would like to end the flight. <laughs> Turbojet engine crashed into the terrain. Of course it did. Uh, all right, guys, I'm back. And what the hell did I just do? Um, this thing is fugly, that's for sure. I don't know what the heck this is. This is the most bizarre abomination that the world has ever seen, but I'm going to see if it can fly. I don't even know if I set this whole setup correctly. Ram air intakes, because why not? So let's see if this ugly looking space plane shuttle thing actually does, does anything other than explode on the runway. Oh lord. <laughs> ah! Ooh, ooh, okay, there we go. Alright. All right, I've apparently set this up completely incorrectly because the rockets do not even go. Oh God, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. What have I done? Oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, apparently I set up staging of some kind that uh, did me no good. Let's, let's try that again. All right, we're back for trial number two of the fugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, so. Let's try this one on for size. The flaps and things work, so let's, let's try it out. All right, this should turn on the engine and not disconnect the wheels. Yo, oh God! Oh, Christmas! <laughs> okay, um, something went wrong there, quite obviously. Uh, a little bit too much power, maybe. <laughs> let's. Let's see if we can uh, restart that flight. Oh, oh, don't crash, Kerbal, don't crash. Okay, oof. All right, let's start with a more manageable throttle. Uh, there is, I did put this, this nose cone is an SAS type of thing, so maybe that'll help me out a little bit, but uh, let's start up the engines. A nice leisurely pace here so we don't fall into each other. Throttle up slightly. Very nice. Probably got a little bit heavier of a plane here, so let's... Oh god, this thing refuses to lift off. Oh god! Oh, oh dear, look at... Oh, oh dear. Um, okay, well, I guess the moral of this story is 
don't build something that this ugly. That is this ugly. Ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> it's fugly debris. That's right, it is. Very fugly debris. Um, yeah, nuts to this thing. Uh, maybe I have to put the engines... Oh, no, no. Damn. Perhaps a different kind of engine. Uh, but let's put them actually a little bit lower. On the fuselage, perhaps that'll help. Uh, and let's put these engines on here. Because why not? All right, last try for the the fugly shuttle, F fuglil, flug flug shuttle, flug shuttle, something. Yeah, that thing. Let's go. Let's try. And I doubt it's even gonna get off the ground. Why? That doesn't even make any sense. There's not much in terms of uh, things you can build with this kind of space shuttle looking front end. So I don't know what exactly they have planned for that. Oh God. I think I messed up the staging once again. Where are the... Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Diggity. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Hey, they didn't die. Then they're happy if that they didn't die. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's get the staging right. <laughs> I suck. All right, here we go. Now it's time. Yeah. I just don't think I have enough speed in order to get this thing off the ground. Easy. Easy. Oh god, lost a wing. Oh god, lost the other wing. Oh god, killed the guys. Oh well. <laughs> well, space planes are hard. Um, yeah, I think I should have probably quit while I was ahead. I obviously did not do such things as these, so uh, I think when I come back in Kerbal Space Program, we need to go investigate this new moon that we have out here orbiting us, as it was been called, Minmus. So we'll do that next time. Uh, yeah, that, that was a brief introduction to the space planes. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be using that specifically, but... Uh, Hopefully in the future we'll be able to have some space shuttle type craft also. But yeah, my, mar my main concern right now, now that we have a new destination, screw the moon. We've already been to the moon and back. It is on to Minmus. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.